The Indian Supreme Court recently passed a landmark, if I may say so, uh, quite an offbeat judgment wherein it ruled that the Maintenance and Welfare of Parents and Senior Citizens Act does not have any special precedence or superiority vis-a-vis -vis the right of residence and dwelling of a woman in respect of a shared house as contemplated under the confines of Protection of Women and Domestic Violence Act. The, the progressive judgment was authored and delivered by Justice Dhananjay Chandrachur in a civil appeal titled S. Vanitha v. A deputy Commissioner, Bengaluru uh, Urban District. The crux of the ruling being that a legal right of a woman to have a home and shelter or dwelling where it is a shared household cannot be undone, cannot be undone by an order of eviction prompted on account of a summary procedure under the Senior Citizens, uh, uh, Senior Citizens Act. Beg your pardon. The judgment of the Supreme Court you know, opines that, that under the Senior Citizens Act 2007, there is an enabling authority to order an eviction if it is necessary and expedient to ensure the maintenance and protection of the senior citizen or, or a parent. Eviction, in other words, would be an incident of the enforcement uh, you know, of the right to maintenance and protection. However, this remedy can be granted only after adverting to the competing claims in the dispute. It was necessary to review that the situation in the instant case related to the eviction of the daughter-in-law, said the Supreme Court. And the, and the court went on to settle that Allowing the Senior Citizens Act 2007 to have an overriding uh, force or, or, or effect in all situations, irrespective of competing entitlements of a, of a woman uh, 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 you know, to, to a right in a shared household within the meaning uh, of the protection of women uh, from Domestic Violence Act 2005, would defeat, mind it, would defeat the object and purpose which the parliament sought to achieve in enacting the latter legislation. The law protecting the interest of senior citizens is intended to ensure that they are not left deprived or at the mercy of their children or relatives. Equally, the, the court felt that the, the protection of women from Domestic Violence Act 2005 cannot be ignored. Both sets of legislations have to be harmoniously construed, said the court. Hence, the right of a woman to secure a residence order in respect of a shared household cannot be defeated by the simple, you know, expedient of securing an order of eviction by adopting the summary procedure under the Senior Citizens Act 2007. This is what the Supreme Court opined. Thus, in the event of a composite dispute, uh, you know, where it, you know, it is, uh, uh, as it is in the current case, you know, in-laws versus daughter-in-law, daughter-in-law versus in-laws. The Supreme Court felt that the, it, it, would, it would be, it would have been appropriate for the tribunal, uh, you know, uh, which is constituted under this uh, Senior Citizens Act to appro appropriately mold the relief, you know, based on the competing claims of the parties. You know, where the claims are under the Protection of uh, Women from Domestic Violence Act 2005 and the Senior Citizens Act 2007. So both claims have to be uh, reviewed. Accordingly, the eviction order passed by the Assistant Commissioner was set aside by the Supreme Court. Uh, and I, I feel that the, the, the provisions of the Senior Citizens Act 2007, you know, uh, 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 you know cannot be deployed uh, in a way that they override the provisions of other laws, uh, especially the ones dealing with women's rights uh, in respect of uh, Domestic Violence Act 2005. So, another victory for the daughters-in-law. Women power is clearly in play.